Hello, welcome to another episode of Backyard or Backwoods Progression. I'm rebranding because I don't think it like captures exactly what my backyard is. <laughs> uh, so we have my kid. She's very good. She's getting more and more used to this world that she's been dropped into. It's been good. I appreciate her existence. Unfortunately, we are in the middle of summer. Things are very hot. When the smoke is added ever into everything from Canada still being on fire, uh, it, it adds up and it ends up being an unenjoyable outside experience. Which is really unfortunate, because... I would love to do more out here. I would love to actually be making progression, because we're currently in regression. <laughs> uh, so, hopefully, it's um, hopefully it's something changes, something breaks. There's a little bit more concern or care for you know global warming and wildfires, but. Who's to say when that'll happen? It blows my mind. I'm truly just blown away by the lack of care, the lack of coverage. Like, it's already become just a normalized thing in this area that, oh yeah, it's just another smoke day as if it were common as if it were just like part of the natural cycle of weather oh it it hurts it hurts me personally i was uh trying to do some physical exercise yesterday because my blood sugar was high and i needed to get around and lower that so Unfortunately, I had to be out there with smoke, and it just didn't play right. I was coughing, it was bad. Like, I don't have lung problems that I'm aware of, but all the same, it's not friendly out there. So I can highly, of, I can say very easily, avoid outside when it is smoky. These air quality alerts are no joke. It sucks. Sorry, I was just adding to my teeth collection. I decided it would be better to keep them in a nice little pill bottle. So, uh, it's interesting to have access to bones. I saw a really good leg bone, and was thinking, like, oh yeah, I wonder if I could make a flute out of that. And I'm sure most people don't have these thoughts, but they don't have access to these things. So, uh, it's not something I've taken up yet, but I'm, I'm legitimately curious if that's a thing I can do. Uh, aside from the lewdness of a skinless flute, but, you know. Uh, it's hard being away from LARP for a whole year. It truly blows my mind just how much I appreciated the community and the camping, the activities. Like, there's a certain cadence to an event. And it's wild just how, like, your body become your body starts to yearn for the things that you're lacking. And with the pandemic, with community, it's, it's hard because it's truly been about three years since there was a really good camp out 
um, there were little events and like attempts in 2021 and now it's trying to be back in full force but I constantly get into this quandary of am I living or am I just alive? And that's super heavy. And I know a lot of people don't struggle with that, but the wonders of depression and like questioning your own existence, being a self-aware human being in this capitalist uh, oligarchy of a nightmare. Uh, but I just have to, like an empath, bring my circle inwards and try to focus on what I can handle and what's affecting me. I can't control the weather, I cannot control global warming, nor Canada being on fire. So I have to focus inwards. <sighs> There's been a collab Minecraft vanilla server that I've been enjoying. It's been really good. Uh, I've been trying to focus a little bit more on streaming, even though I can't quite say what I would improve at this point. Like, I know I need to improve, because you always need to improve. But... That's hard when you don't have income. <sighs> so, just have to keep plugging along, hoping for the best. It's... As a person who's bad at uh, promoting themselves, it's always been a question of what would people pay for? What would people, like, what incentives are people actually interested in? Like, it's silly, but that matters. And... For some people, it's sound alerts, like some people really will uh, pay bits or whatever on streams to have something play. They just like, you know, the whatever, be it arts or a little song or a really embarrassing moment. And others pay to like have people play games and... generally like force someone to play either an awful or really hard or unforgiving game and a lot of people do that and it's content and it seems to work for them i don't feel like i'm in that wheelhouse <laughs> like i could play a really dumb and frustrating game and just be like yeah this is the game. It's not fun. We're here. We're gonna try. But we're probably gonna fall all the way back down to the bottom and uh, have to rise up again. It's... It's the question of content. Because I can understand where people who get really frustrated with things uh... Some people want to see that as a person who grew up with really frustrated people. It is not something I want to see. <clears throat> like, I am honestly bothered when people are that upset, especially at something small like a game. Most of the time, when I'm upset or frustrated with a game or something, it is me being frustrated with myself. Uh, Master Duel brings this out a lot, personally. Like, 
I get really upset when I make, I talk through a play, and then I do the wrong thing first. And it's just this whole ADHD brain of like, okay, this first, then this, then this, then this. So you like jump to step two and then everything's fucked. So it's really quite difficult to make sure the things happen the way they're supposed to. But just kind of have to keep moving, doing the best we can. It's, it's important. It's good growth and good muscle memory to have that negative attachment to that moment. So you don't keep doing it. But just accepting it at that of like, yeah, sure. These are moments. These are onion seeds. <laughs> and I really hope I see progress from that. I hope I see progress in my own gameplay and things. But for the most part, I'm just trying to find happiness. Trying to give others joy. Because if I'm streaming and nobody's enjoying it, what's the point, right? I'm documenting my gameplay to an empty void. Documenting my space to an empty void for the most part, but I think it could be very interesting to those who care. Like, you get a botanist or an arborist. Maybe even, like, entomology specialist. Someone, like, who looks for or is interested in specific flowers or plants that maybe don't get documented enough. And they see it in these kinds of scenarios. It's... uncommon to have this much greenery around for the average person as of late. It's unfortunate that's the current standing of things, but it is. I truly wish people could be or could have more access to these kinds of greeneries. Because it makes a big difference. It makes... Air quality is huge, and we don't treat it like it is. But since the pandemic, having an air filter in my place has been game-changing. It's really nice. It may help that I'm a person with allergies. But, you know, stepping past that point. And, uh... It's... Amazing how unclean the air around us we were breathing was, and we just were acceptant of it. Like, we knew about airborne disease and germs and such, and we're just like, yeah, well, what can you do? <laughs> Gotta huddle everybody into the supermarket, right? Ugh. Blows my mind. Hmm so often put off by the way things used to be that we just accepted. We can do so much better. We can be so much better. And yet we don't because it's easy to stay where we are. Easy not to grow. It's easy not to change. So, unfortunately, I have to suggest to not do the easy thing do the difficult thing and from here we'll have to figure that out make the most of the situation All right. unfortunately I had to use my new camera 
because my old camera had a charging issue. So this quality is going to be pretty garbage. Apologies. They had said it was, what? 4K Ultra HD? <laughs> yeah, this is what I got. It's unfortunate. I apologize, but at least something. It didn't help that I have to hold it. The weird part is that when I'm watching it back on the camera, it's fine. But when we put it on the computer, it it's so jarring. It was a Temu item, so I'm not too concerned. It sucks, but what can you do? I uh, suppose you get what you pay for, and I probably paid maybe $10 for this. So, you know, it's it's probably pretty good for $10. But, you know. It's unfortunate. All of the dew from these plants soaked up to my waist, by the way. I, uh, I honestly thought about doing a special where I just walk my creek. But, I don't know how that'll go, how, if it's wanted. It goes back to that thing I was saying earlier of, like, I don't know what people want. Because I am not the average person. So, nor do I have money, so. I don't pay much for anything. So... Knowing what the average person would pay for, or what they would want to see, is interesting. It's, it has flavor. There is more that could be done. But for right now, no idea. So, while this mess plays, <laughs> yeah, this, I, again, apologize for this being mostly unwatchable. This is a very aggressive slideshow. You, you can see the frames. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I tried. At least I got you, gave you guys something. I honestly consider just canceling, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the series. So, here we are. Not all positive intentions move forward. A lot of the time... We can have very positive intentions, have very good goals that are, you know, generally people would understand and appreciate. It's troublesome when it turns out that they go backwards or have a null effect. So, like, truly, it doesn't matter. But, for the most part, we are in situations where it's, uh, where we have to do better, I suppose, is the way I want to put it. Like, it's good to have good intentions, but they need to be backed up. If you're doing something for somebody else with good intentions, 
I feel like you need to make sure that they want that thing. Because you could clean somebody else's room or, you know, pick up trash, throw it away. But sometimes that trash is something important to them. Sometimes when you clean, you end up breaking something or uh, misplacing an item. And then it's just impossible to find. It's wholly rooted in good intentions. It's absolutely a thing where you mean well, but it doesn't always work that way, you know? So you can have good intentions for yourself and have the same result, like eating better or having a specific routine that would, in theory, be better for you like working out exercise whatever you can still hurt yourself in those situations it like there's just such a dual aspect to that like what we intend to do and what happens so it's hard keep an eye out keep perspective interest in where things are what you're doing like it helps to reassess every now and again and be like hey maybe i wasn't being very healthy for myself even though i was trying to be and a lot of people don't care about that second part. Even though I was trying to be, like, it doesn't excuse what happened. You still lost the thing, you still broke the thing. Like, that's what they're upset about. Like, they understand your intentions were good. I'd hope they were at least. Like, come on. Which is why they're giving you the chance to, like, apologize or make right the situation. But... Life's hard. If only things worked out the way we intended every time. If only things were so clear and black and white. <sighs> but they're not. So we have to continue to try harder, be better, and learn from that truly it's just uh, where we're at our system is messed up and we just have to do our best I'm confused this should be minutes right Or no, this is the time. So this is seconds. Minutes. Okay. Alright. Understanding your issue is another aspect where... You get into these situations and... It can be very confusing... Why they didn't work out right. I was eating healthy. Why did I gain weight? Like, well... Were you, like, burning as many calories or, you know, that whole aspect of food things is very complex. But it doesn't truly matter because we treat things a lot like their cause and effect without going through the proper having a hypothesis and testing it into a theory, you know, scientific method our lives. But because we're all very messy, we're made up of so many moving parts and so many different situations. That's why doctors are so unfortunate in this day and age. Because everyone's so complex and the threat of being sued is so high. 
uh, it's easier for them to not really try all that hard. And just kind of like, this is what's going on, this is what your blood work shows, this is where we're at. Uh, we can get you on a medication for this thing that's high. Any other issues? And then they, they're they done. They're treating the issue. They're not, like, looking at, well, what's going on in your life that's making this high? That doesn't come up whatsoever. You just assume it's some mistake of your body. And some of it is. Some of it truly is. Just our body's not working correctly. Just like this camera is clearly not working correctly. I feel like I'm missing half the frames. Like we're getting going at like 15 frames per second or something. Maybe 20. Hard to say. Maybe less. <laughs> I don't have a good eye for frames per second. I know a lot of people do. And... For the most part, I don't know that I can see the difference between 30 and 60. Like, things might be a little bit smoother, but for the most part, I feel like there's a dramatic loss of return in the doubling system after that point. Because 15 to 30 is a big deal. Like, that's very noticeable. But, for the most part... Yeah, this is strange. You can't see the bar, but... This closes out at 12 minutes, and the whole thing was 13, 14. So, something's weird there in the encoding, maybe. I'll have to look into this a little further. Thank you all for watching and enduring with me. I appreciate everyone who came out. Uh, I'm going to end here. I'm not going to read into anybody. But remember, like, follow, subscribe. Check me out on Twitch or on YouTube. I appreciate everyone who's following. Appreciate any uh, Amazon Primes or any other things, ways you can freely support me. Um, it all matters, and you matter. So I hope you have a better day. Till next time, peace.